Hi folks, today we're looking at a P201500 fault code. It's appearing on this 2008 2 litre diesel Audi A4. It's coming up on the reader here as an intake manifold runner position sensor issue. If we clear the fault it comes back within a few minutes driving. So we're going to take out the sensor, have a look at it and clean it up. The intake actuator motor is located to the side of the intake back here against the bulkhead and it's held on with three T30 Torx bolts. When we get all the bolts out we can take off the electrical connector on the top and then we need to carefully remove the actuator arm and spring down here so we can prise this off using a screwdriver or pliers and the spring also and remove the unit. Now that we've removed it from the car I'm going to open up the housing and have a look inside. So I've taken out the five T25 screws and we're going to open it up. So inside we can see our little 12 volt DC motor. This works via another gear onto the final gear which operates the actuator arm. And we can see the way the sensor works on this. On the final arm we have a little magnet which corresponds to a Hall effect sensor in the casing. You can see it's rather dirty. Lots of dust probably from the brushes inside the motor. So we're going to clean this up give it a blow out and put it back together and see how we get on. So I have everything cleaned up now and dried off with the air compressor. You could, if you wanted, you could test the motor by putting leads onto the two connection points there. I know that the motor is working fine so I'm just going to put the case back together and put it back in the car. So we're back at the engine now and before I put the motor back on I'm going to check that the intake actuator valve on the intake side isn't stuck or sticking. You can see here that it moves fairly smoothly and it doesn't take too much force to get it to move. It's relatively easy. If that was very hard to move or was stuck it would indicate that the intake manifold is probably coked up, sooted up, in which case you'd have to remove the intake and clean it out. So I'm happy with that, we're just going to put on the motor again. So that's the motor back on. I gave the arm a little shot of oil just to keep it lubricated. I'm going to pop back on the connector. So after clearing the fault and taking it for a drive, I'd say it'll be perfectly fine. Hopefully that's of some use to you if you have the same problem. It happened on this car about over a year ago, same issue and cleaning the sensor worked 